in this video we are playing find the lanky box characters so this game is kind of made up of mini maps with six characters per map to find so not too many to find in each map but they do get harder as the games go on I have sped up the video speed just because there's a lot of searching and um, just to make it a bit quicker as there is no sprint in this game and the characters seem to be obviously Justin and Adam or their plushies that are available and I didn't realize they had this many plushies available to buy there's so many and there's more maps to come so the next map is going to be released on the 17th of June so when they've got a couple of more maps available I will come back and do an update video this is definitely a game for you if you are a lanky box fan I know my kids did like the channel at one point but kids are fickle and they've soon moved on to different YouTube channels to watch I will say they very rarely watch their mums, but hey ho. I do like that bit of scripting where it actually puts your gamer name um, in, into Adam's conversation. That's really nice touch. So once you've found all six characters, it says you can play the next level and you do have to go back to the load screen and then swipe through. And from the look of the map, these are quite generic buildings. I've seen these buildings before. So the daycare I've seen in Brookhaven, the house I've seen in numerous games. And this is where the game gets a little bit harder. So we now have to pick up the shovel in order to dig the sand to get milky. So as the games get on, there are more and more interactions with objects on the levels. And we have baby foxy see i went to the slide but it was sneakily hidden there so we found all six and we're now moving on to the next level of the beach so we know that oyster shell is going to be there for a reason and it says come back after you found five characters So that's obviously I think a giant pearl there so I'm not sure if that's got something to do with the oyster and who lives in a pineapple under the sea Spongebob Squarepants um, if you do watch out I am going to load a new video on my channel shortly on find the Spongebob characters and if you are enjoying this video or any other from Judgment TV please can I ask you to help support my channel and hit that subscribe button 
it will also mean that you'll never miss one of my new videos. Spongeboxy. Surely they can't rip off Nickelodeon and do that as a character for a plushie. Surely not. <laughs> See now the, the touch of the bubbles floating around actually makes Stick Shark a bit more hidden which is a nice touch. So I swam around for a little bit trying to find the rest of them. There is an index available if you click the Lanky Box picture um, and it will show you the ones that you've got and the ones that you're missing. Um, and I swam around for ages and I thought it must be in the SpongeBob pineapple just because there's nowhere else for it to be at all. I've looked everywhere. And then remember that the kitchen seemed a bit odd that it was empty. And this is where I said that the levels get harder because you have to start interacting with objects on the level. So we have to cook. And there it is. So now we've got to go back to that oyster shell. And I almost forgot that there was a pearl, so I thought I might as well go back and see if it does anything now, which we can actually now pick up. We have the five characters, so it just saves me a second run and swim back. And we can now place it in the oyster shell. And look, Foxy is having a beach party with all of her friends. And we've finished that level now. So again, moving back and we're going into Candyland now. And again, the difficulty level has been up a bit more. We've now got the introduction of a code door. And there is a definitely a Lanky Box fan running around because he looks like Adam. And although the maps are quite small to this game, they do have a really nice, lovely, polished feel to them. And we found the final number on the sofa. where I press the wrong button it's not exactly to press enter
and big ghosties in the rocks just by the tree and again we are moving on to the final level now of the factory as i said there is a new map coming on the 17th of june So it says to produce lanky bot on the computer but nothing came up so I'll come back and do that in a minute. checking there's nothing else to interact with here I'm just getting to the point where I'm thinking this map isn't that big and I've only found two <laughs> So we saw this balance beam with the character just kind of at the start of this area and the ladder is on the blue shipping containers. So you can walk all the way around or you can kind of just do this shortcut like I did. Going back, that blue brick door was going to have to be something, and again, it's an interaction. I thought this may have been a game pass. Usually, there's things in the tube you have to pay for, but if you shoot the door, you can then go in and get justin.exe. Then, some random faces in the coffee cup there. I don't know if they're the developers. And going back, we have to do the lanky bot. And the bot just goes through the conveyor belt. So as soon as you've pressed that button, just run round. And there we have it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and see you real soon. Bye.